Hello, subbers and business. It's your girl, Craig Nicole, and welcome back to my channel. I have a new co-host. He's sleep, but I have a new co-host. So, um, the diva is not with me today, but this is a video about Prince K. This is actually going to be part of my 12 Days of Christmas. So, the first part of 12 Days of Christmas, I want to give you an update of me and Prince K and a little labor and delivery story. So, if you'd like to see 12 Days of Christmas, Prince K's labor and delivery store, then keep on watching. Okay, before we get started, make sure you click that red subscribe button down at the bottom and then click the little bell next to it so you can be notified whenever there's a video up uh, from us. As I was saying to you guys, this is going to be a video of me and Prince K, the first of 12 days of Christmas for us. So let's talk about Prince K. As you guys know that I was pregnant. Duh. You guys have watched all those videos. I was pregnant. I actually carried him until about 30, until 39 weeks to be exact. I was scheduled for a cesarean, se cesarean section, which is a C-section. For those of you who've heard that term, it is basically a major surgery where they actually cut me and pull the baby out instead of me pushing the baby down through my birth canal. I've had two prior to Prince K, so the third one was almost kind of, hey, this is what's going to happen. There's nothing else that you're going to be able to do. So in order to do that, you do not go the full 40 weeks. You only go to 39 weeks in order to do a C-section with your baby. Um, I was scheduled for the morning of December the 5th, 2018. I went in bright and early at 6 o'clock in the morning. My Surgery was supposed to start at 7.30. It started a little bit before 7.30. Um, Prince K was actually pulled out of my belly at 7.35. And my mother was sitting right beside me. So the things leading up to it, once we checked into the hospital, I was immediately taken to the back to get all my prep work done, all of the blood work taken, and to get me ready for surgery. I'm about 7 o'clock. The doctor came in and told me what was going on. The anesthesiologist came in to tell me about the epidural, even though I've had one um, before. So he was prepping me and getting me ready for what was about to happen next. Um, once we go into the operating room, I am extremely cold. Like, I cannot stop shaking. I'm shaking and shivering. So the nurse has to hold me really, really tight and keep me still so I can get this epidural, which is, as you guys know, this long needle that is sticking in the back between your spine and your spine between two of your um backbones like they yes so you have to be very very still in order for it not to damage anything else so once i'm laying on the bed they actually bring my mom in she sits right next to my head and <laughs> this has ha have had to be the funniest surgery ever in life um, so she's sitting there, she's joking, the doctors are joking, the nurses are joking, the guy who's making sure that I don't, my blood pressure doesn't go up and check my vitals, he's joking, we're all just joking, and I'm just like, is this what's supposed to be going on, um, y'all are cutting me open and pulling the baby out, and then you gotta tie my tubes, then you have to sew me all back up again, like, is this not what we're supposed to do? Okay, so this happens, they pull Prince K out, and once he starts to cry, I'm crying, like, Oh my God, you guys, to hear your baby cry for the very first time ever is such a touching feeling. Like, there's something that you just can't, I can't even describe that feeling. I can't even describe what it actually felt like or all I know is I was crying. I had my glasses on. I was like, Ma, I can't play my glasses because she ran over there to the baby. I almost forgot about her baby. I was like, wait, wait. You're supposed to be here to support me. And you run away to your grandbaby. So she was the first to hold him once he's taken. Now, the new thing that I did not know was happening once you birth a child is, hey, as soon as you birth this child, regardless if you're having a C-section or not, it, the child does not go to the nursery anymore. I did not know that unless something is wrong with the baby. So as soon as they take the baby out, Lay him down a little bit. They wrap him up and give him to my mother. My mother brings him over to me. And he is ours. Like, he's ours. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. But, you know, when I had my other two children, they took him and they took him to the nursery and all kind of stuff like that. And I didn't get him until after recovery. But baby goes to recovery with me. He goes to the room when I go to the room. So, that is a very new experience for me. And it's actually really, really good because you get to keep baby with you the whole entire time. So, I, it was not until he 
came out and actually saw his face that I actually decided on a name. As you guys know, I he did not have a name up until that particular moment, and it just felt right to call him Kaysen. So um, we named him Kaysen. I went to recovery. Um, in the recovery room, I, we do the skin to skin just so we can bond. Um, my mother is sitting right there next to me, which I really thank her a lot for that. Um, after recovery, they wheeled me into my room. And there I have my daughter and my sister and my mother. Then I have the guests that came in periodically. Um, during our stay there, it was not a very bad stay. Um, of course, you get to the point where you're sick and tired of staying in the bed. So that does start to bother you. But um, I was up and I was moving the very next day. Um, if not the same day. I was up and I was moving the same day because they were not playing any games with me. The same day they took the catheter out, I was up and I was moving. They were not playing any games with me. Now, I'm not going to lie to you that being up and moving around so early was um, a hindrance in the end because I ended up being in a lot more pain after getting up and moving when it's supposed to be easier. But I did end up being in a lot more pain. Um, I also started breastfeeding in the hospital, which was painful in the beginning. I almost cried. He was crying because he was hungry, and I was crying because I was hurting. So, breastfeeding is what we're doing. It's gotten a whole lot better now. Um, of course, he is a week, Thursday, Friday, a week and two days right now. So, he is 20, 30, 14 days old. Um... And we're doing a whole lot better. Um, the scheduling has gotten a little better. I thought he was going to be up for this video. That's why I, I postponed it so long in the day because I thought he was going to be up. Um, but I've missed that opportunity <laughs> several times today. I don't know what else you guys would like to know about labor, labor and delivery. It was not traumatic for me at all. It was a little emotional only when I heard his cry. Um, I last night there, I think we were all kind of just on edge he cried i was tired and agitated so we both got a little frustrated so that's where the emotional part came in for that but the whole entire labor delivery was not bad at all our first week home i'm not gonna lie was very interesting um me knowing that i am a mother of three i wanted to still be able to do the things that i need to do for my own two so i was pushing myself and i actually put set me back a little bit because it made me um hurt and hurt so i had a lot of issues with that but i finally got to fall like hey girl chill let your mama let your friends let whoever wants to help help out so i've been doing that and so far so good it was his first week appointment on wednesday yeah first week appointment was on wednesday that just passed and everything was great you know when the babies are born they're born a certain way he was born seven pounds one ounce by the time we left the hospital he had dropped down to six pounds and eight ounces but by the time we went back to the doctor on Wednesday he was back to seven pounds and zero ounces like right on target and I was so excited because I was worried um worried that he was not gaining his ounces back but he has gained those ounces back and probably some and it's probably going to gain a whole lot more because of his diet um but other than that you guys I promise you it is not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Only thing that we're suffering from now is me healing because I still have a lot of healing to go as far as my surgery is concerned. And being in this house, being in this house, not being able to go anywhere. Yeah, it sucks. But it's good because I get to bond with him and I get to heal and rest and don't have to worry about anything else so if there's anything else that you would like to know about our labor and delivery story just make sure you comment down below and this is our little dinosaur this is still prince k get out of my video this is not your video today goodbye with your mouth all wet and stuff um so if you want to know anything else about our labor and delivery story just comment down below ask me the questions that you want to ask me and then if there's a lot of questions then i'll do an updated video if not i'll just respond to you down in the comment section below but i promise you guys this has been a wonderful wonderful journey and i thank all of you all for following me through that journey and hopefully you guys continue to support me and we'll be back tomorrow for the 12 days of christmas dropping it down to 11 days till christmas tomorrow um 
I'm planning on doing a what's in my bag mother and daughter edition. So you guys make sure you come back for that and we will talk to you guys next time. Okay. I wish he would wake up but he wouldn't. He's not right now. So we'll just talk to you guys another time. Bye.